Umberto in uh, Hialeah, Florida, watching Free Speech TV on Direct TV. Hey, Umberto, what's up? Tom, a very good afternoon. I just wanted to make a comment. Uh, I am, I'm in total support of what Senator Elizabeth Warren said right from the Senate today. Uh, I don't. Well, first, I don't know if she made the statement from the Senate or not, but she did make the statement that, in fact, we on the progressive left need to recognize and we need to start acting that, in, like, in fact, we are in the majority because the fact is 2.3 million votes so far is the margin of victory of Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump in the actual real popular vote. So we are in the majority. In fact, the, the a majority of people in this country have rejected the fascist and extreme right-wing uh, government of Donald Trump. And the popular vote, by the way, has, uh, in both the House and Senate, has been won by Democrats as well. Exactly. So, and her statement that we need to start acting like the majority instead of just sitting back and apathetically accepting whatever this extreme right-wing government is going to do, I agree with it. We need to start realizing that even though the government is now tightly in control of this really neo-fascist Republican Party that Trump has been able to create, we have the power and the authority in this nation, really, uh, to mobilize and resist and not allow Donald Trump's government to just roll over us and try to get away with whatever extreme actions he's going to try to take against the working class, against immigrants, against young people and the LGBT community. Uh, you know, any kind of militaristic action you might want to try to take, we can, in fact, mobilize and resist and, and defy any actions that he might want to take. But for that to happen, number one, we have to start showing up at elections. The next big election is not 2020. It's 2018, the midterms, yep. where if we show up in sufficiently large numbers, we can take back our national legislature and our state governments as well. Well, that, that election is going to be a big deal because there's something like 20, 20 Democrats in the Senate up for re-election. I mean, some huge number. I, I don't know the exact number, but it's in, you know, it's basically a third of the Senate is up for re-election every two years because they're six-year terms. And, exactly. And uh, this and time around, it was two to one Republicans. Like Next time around, it'll be two to one Democrats. And I wanted to make the statement, too, that on top of showing up at election time, we also need to start building up our resistance to this Trump government at the grassroots level. And I want to congratulate all of those grassroots uh, left-wing organizations that are starting, for example, the emergency community meetings. I believe that's the Working Families Party in conjunction with another group called the Courage Campaign. I congratulate all those progressive-leaning churches and synagogues that are openly declaring themselves sanctuaries to protect and safe house immigrants from brutal deportation. I congratulate all those working class organizations that are getting ready to fight back against any attempts to roll back the progress of the labor unions and the gains of, of working class people into this Donald Trump campaign. So in other words, we not only should show up at election time, but we should start building up and mobilizing at the grassroots level. We do have the power, the numbers to fight back and resist whatever this extreme right wing government is going to try to do. But we need to realize that. And I just sit back and apathetically accept, uh, well, he's now the president. What can we do? Yeah, yeah, I agree. And that's why I said this show is now Resistance Central. Thanks a lot, Omerito. Good to hear from you. We'll be back. It's uh, 20, what, two minutes past the hour? Stick around.